Today on the channel, my dad is back, and we've got two more Jada Toys Universal Monsters to unbox and review. And today, we've got the Invisible Man, and we've got the Wolf Man. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! again with another Jada Toys Universal Monsters unboxing and review with a special guest, my dad. Dad, say hello. Hey, hello. Dad is back again, and that only means one thing, Universal Monsters unboxings. And today, we've got the Wolfman, and we've got the Invisible Man. It's all about the men today here uh, at the channel, there so there you go. you go. But of course, for all your Universal Monster Jada Toys needs, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79, guess what? It ships free. Got to get the deal out there. And I bought these a little bit of a long game. That's what I've been doing with these Jada Toy ones. Playing a little of that long game. Not paying full price. Waiting for deals. Things like that. And I figured, okay, I'm swooping in. I'm getting these. And these two are very interesting. I believe this is possibly Wave 2. I don't really keep too track of these. But we do have, of course, the Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Dracula, and then these two. The Creature. I can't forget mm -hmm. about the Creature. Uh, so we've had some of these in the past. And there is some of these in the line but definitely right. an interesting line and i always kind of say at the beginning is these aren't the NECA variety these are a much cheaper price point than the NECA, so you got to kind of take that into account a little bit but they're good in their own way right they are very good i think you said we're all special in our own way i think i think you said that <laughs> the hits just keep coming from jada they do the hits the keep hits. on coming like a young this looks like it like a young Mike Nesmith. Shout out to Mike Nesmith. If your generation wasn't a big Mike Nesmith guy, for the most part, they thought he was just part of that monkeys, couldn't play his songs, things like that, but oh, he could. Oh, check out Mike Nesmith's solo career. They had a lot of good songs. He had a lot of good yes. songs, but they were up against a lot of competition in those days. They in were. The 60s. Well, 66, they were the number one selling uh, group of the year yeah. in 66. That was the year Sgt. Pepper came out, yeah. so oh, shout out to the monkeys. I'm a big monkeys guy. I loved watching the monkeys on Nick at Night. I don't think you probably watched the monkeys when they first came out did you i did i watched every did episode. you watch every episode they were a hot thing i thought they were too when good i was for a you. kid i was a early teenager junior high i think when they came out and uh and uh, every everybody watched it and everybody talked about it the next day yeah, well, yeah. on the old playground yeah. <laughs> <laughs> study hall or wherever oh the old playground we yeah. talked we, we compared notes on last night's monkeys episode yeah, i bet you, you did yeah uh, who was your favorite monkey if you had to choose between the four uh, you know, I, I kind of liked uh, Mickey Dolenz because I remembered him as Circus Boy oh, when yes. I was just a little kid, like, I don't know, four years old, that, that show was on. So uh, it, it was really odd to see him, but uh, uh, he became a drummer. He was not a drummer, but he became He one. did, and I enjoy Mickey Dolenz, and he, Mike Nesmith was my favorite. Uh -huh. Mike was my favorite. Then I'd go Mickey, then Peter, then Davey. Yes, yeah, sacrilegious. Davey in the, in the number four hole. He back, back and clean up, I guess. I don't know. And Davey Jones was a child star yeah. on Broadway. Yeah. And then he, he was famous in the play uh, Oliver. Oliver. I, oh. I think he played uh, the rogue kid in Oliver. Uh, Davy Jack or whatever. Loves Davey. Love the monkeys. Uh, and once we get offline here, I'll tell you a story about Mickey Dolan. So I'll save this for offline. Maybe one day we'll share. But I, I need your help with something and maybe uh. some babysitting duties uh, coming up in November. Oh. If you could watch the kids as I got a date with Mickey Dolenz. We'll talk about it later. Uh -oh. We'll talk about it later. And I'm not kidding. No. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You'll, you'll find the story interesting. But anyways, <laughs> let's get down to Jada Toys. Let's get down to the Universal Monsters. And uh, we flipped a coin, and we're going to start with the Invisible Man. Oh, the Invisible Man. Uh, possibly my least favorite of the Universal Monsters. No. As I've said in the past, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel monstrous to me, but it does in a way I guess I can see. He was certainly monstrous acting. He, <laughs> he probably killed more people than all the other... Uh, that is true. He he Figures did have a combined. lot. He did have a death count uh, in yeah. those movies as well. And there was other movies. He and, railed a train. Yeah, I'm not sure which version. If this is, was a Claude Rains, was that his name? Claude, Claude Rains. Rains. And I don't know if it's that or is this the Vincent Price version? Uh, that's Claude Rains. I'm gonna pretend it's Vincent Price because the smoking jacket is yeah. unmistakable. 
And that is one of the big differences between this one and the NECA one. The NECA one, uh, not a huge fan. That was I, I got it for part of the collection, but I'm not a big... I'm just not a big Invisible Man guy for whatever reason. But this one, I wish the NECA one had this outfit. I absolutely love this smoker jacket. Uh, I'm hoping in about 10 years when I, uh, at night, when I retreat to my quarters, I will uh, have a jacket like this. And then during the day, I'll have a cape, of course. So it's kind of a whole look as you get older. So stay tuned for that on the channel here. But definitely looking good here in the package. Get all kinds of accessories with this one. You get the figure as well. Monsters at the top, of course. Universal monsters looking good. Uh, it does say the Invisible Man down on the side. Get some of his favorite friends over here. The Invisible Man on this side. And then on the back, a little cross sell. A little cross sells. We got the Wolf Man, which is right over there. We're going to talk about here in a second. And then Jibber Jabber for all the Jibber Jabber down low. There's a lot going on down here. Dad, you want to read all these languages? No, no, no. All right. We won't do it this time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But let's then get I, him then out. I'll only read the ones I know. Yeah, that, yeah. I wouldn't know any. See you later. Even English. I wouldn't know that one either. But we get the background here. Nothing too fun. Nothing too fun on there. See you later. Goodbye. All right, Plastic Prison. Is he locked in anywhere? He isn't. Oh, no. my gosh. There it is. He's in the Plastic Prison looking good. And we get a lot of accessories with him, which I really do uh, like. So let's see what's going on. Pull him out there. Pop that head out. Pop that hat. Hand. There it is. We get extra hands with him. We get extra head. We get a book. Maybe it's the good book. Who knows? Who knows what book it could be? See you later. Whoa! <laughs> Off to the side. Wrong way. Goodbye, there it is. All right, we got this here. Let's let's get this all figured out. Let's, let's get it going here. Now, we're going to dive in to the hands first, Dad. That's where we're going to start. And it gets confusing because there's a head-hand combo here. Yeah. Throw me for a loop. But he does come. I love to see what we see out of the package here. The Invisible Man, when the chips are down, he's got a fist. He is ready to throw a fist right there, an invisible fist. Yeah. And then he's got an open hand. And he's now, just an angry young man. Now, what is this hand? Look, at it's a it's combined hand. This is wild. Look at <laughs> that it's like he's saying pull my finger or or something i don't know well you got to remember he's invisible he pulls off the gloves see i just that's don't, all there is is the glove it's weird too you're invisible but it it fits on you and you're invisible so i guess you're not mm -hmm. in, what, what am i looking for you're invisible but you're not disappeared <laughs> exactly you're, it's confusing it's confusing but it's uh, still physical, just no one can see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And he's doing one of these. He's doing one of yeah. these things, pulling the gloves off, which is kind of cool because I remember this scene in the movie where he's pulling the glove off like that. So kind of there. And they say, you know, that the government, I think, and Jesse Ventura told me this, and you know Jesse, good friend of the channel, great friend of the channel, mm -hmm. right up north up the road there in Minnesota, old Jesse Ventura, one of the all-time greats. I'm hoping he's running for president. He needs to. I'd vote for him in a heartbeat. I'll be his campaign manager. I don't care. We'll go on the gorilla defense. We'll talk well, about gorilla monsoon. probably can't be any worse. So, uh, oh, he's my he would be the best jesse it would just be yeah. a game changer for me yeah. but uh i believe there is like these cloaks now that people have like the government has and they use and it can turn you invisible oh. and they have invisible jets like wonderman i've heard that wild it's times. called the black raven or something, yeah, like, something that. like that yeah. it's a wild yeah. times wild yeah. times out there right. i don't know we're right. just gonna keep reviewing the action figures that's all we're gonna do yeah. and then we do get a gripping hand here so he can grip ah. his beaker it looks like here right and we got a beaker a beaker. So very scientific. You think this probably has the magical elixir that'll that will turn be, you invisible? That would be the stuff. Yeah, yeah. that would be the stuff. Because I, I, I forget, whatever they added to that elixir made you mentally ill. That's that's the problem. That was so, the danger. So yeah, you, good thing you could turn invisible. Bad mm -hmm. thing you go crazy. Right, so it's just right. one of those things. I don't know. If I was invisible, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's, you there's try not there. to be mentally ill. You'd, I try be, not to be. You'd be kind of altruistic. But I wonder if you're already mentally ill and you take it, does it make you more mentally ill or does it counteract it? No, I think it I think it makes you I don't more. know. You never know. The more you know, we'll look yeah. into that. We'll look yeah. into that. Now, we do get a book here, and I believe, didn't he like throw a book across right. the room? That's how you knew it was him. It's like, right. ah, ha, 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 book across the, the room. the formula in there. There it is. So we got the book there. And the cool thing about the beaker, the book, use them with any toy line you want. You want to put them through Marvel Legends, G.I. Mm -hmm. Joe Classified, whatever you want to do, you can definitely do that. Now, we do get a beautiful top hat. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You ever wore a hat like this? Uh, no, not, yeah, not me neither. Quite that. No, not me neither. I've never worn a hat like that. Too fancy for me. Too fancy for me. But definitely looks cool. Yeah, it's all you black. It you know what it is. Yep. Now we get down to business. We get down to Invisible Man business here. Mm -hmm. So we get the head here. Love the wrappings here. Love love the sunglasses on there. Those are some very old timey sunglasses, yeah. but very cool like kind of hip sunglasses yeah, they it's keep like the sun out from every direction it, it's more kinda, like goggles it's kind of like, like these kind of <laughs> like these i always have at the ready it's kind of oh. like these sunglasses yeah. and it's just 
Very, very cool to have a pair of shades like this. I love how this looks. And it's just kind of funny that you know he's the Invisible Man. He's all wrapped up, and he's wearing sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Like a young Corey Hart wearing his sunglasses at night in some there ways. Definitely interesting, but definitely all day long, you know this is the Invisible Man. Or you think it's just one really cool mummy. It's just one cool party and mummy is what it looks like, too. So choose your own adventure on that one there. But definitely love the wrappings. Definitely love the head on this one. Definitely doing good things. Very definitely nice. doing good things. Yeah. Got no issues with this. Nope, so none. Now, this is the one I'm probably going to end up using, though. And much like the pull my finger trick over here, this is pretty darn cool. So you get the hand here that plugs in. The pull my finger trick can be disastrous. <laughs> it can be disastrous if you're not careful. If you're not careful. But this one is very, very cool. He's unwrapping his face. Mm -hmm. I love how this looks here. And I think this looks just totally different than anything else. This is a very good one. So does far, it, does it fit? Oh, yeah, oh, it does plugs right okay. in. So you pop this head off, you pull it in there, I you plug it. this hand in, got and it. it looks like he's unwrapping himself. So wow. I tell you, I think this is pretty genius. This is yeah. something I wish the uh, NECA one had along the way. I really do like the looks of that head. Value-added feature. It is very, very cool. But now we get down to the figure here itself, and it's an interesting one. There's no doubt about it. The arms do go all the way around. You get a bicep cut. Double jointed elbows, hands removable as we've seen, a lot of hand movement here. Head removable, back, forth, side to side, plenty of movement on the head. Looks like we got neck articulation and head articulation, so a double whammy there. Big ol' hula hoop right there if he needs to. Give him that oh. hula hoop, he's off to the races. Big ol' splits if you need him. You got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees, ankles back forth, side to side. Wow. So a lot of articulation hits for the old Invisible Man. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to guess he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stand. And I'm going to use this Coke bet. Kyle. It's a good bet. And I'm going to get the Mattel stand. And there wow. he is. So if you need him on a stand, the ringside ones fit perfectly for him. But beautiful robe on this one. Now, it's just a soft, good, painted on the robe right there. It's definitely... Uh, uh, not the greatest material ever, but it gets the point across right. for what it's trying to do. I definitely love the pattern there. I love the pocket square. I love the little like towel thing he's got going on underneath there. Of course, the gloves. Definitely interesting in the pajama pants department. There's no doubt about that. Those are very interesting there with the, the red, black, red, black stripe against the blue. Definitely striking here. But definitely an interesting look for the Invisible Man. But one I am here for. I like what I'm seeing with this one. I like this one probably the best out of all the Jada toy figures I've unboxed of the Universal Monster variety. I'm saying it right now. That's that's a hit. It's a hit. That's it's nice a very, one. very good yeah. one. And then we talked about the NECA one. The NECA one, I really wish had this robe. That's what I wish it had, but uh, definitely a different look to this one. Different no scene doubt about in the it. movie. Yeah. They're representing a different yeah, scene. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but when I think of Invisible Man, this is what I think of. Sometimes I think of just invisibility, and I think of just seeing nothing. That's what I think of. Or I think of this. So it uh, depends. Choose your own Invisible Man adventure, really, at the end of the day. So... Definitely cool, definitely a good one over like here. Those. Can give those to you as we're going to turn our right. attention over to a favorite of ours. The old wolf man, one of my all-time favorites. I'm a sucker for a werewolf, always have loved a werewolf. And we got one right here, one of the classic werewolves right there. Accessories looking good, Universal Monsters logo at the top, wolf man at the bottom. Some of those same old friends we saw before. We got the wolf man, and then on the back, jibber jabber all over the place on the bottom. And then the invisible man cross cell back there. So once again, we get the Wolfman here. We'll compare it to the NECA one as well along the way. Okay. See you later. Goodbye. A little bit of spin on it there. A little spin on it right there. And then we get the Wolfman doing Wolfman things is what he's ah. doing right here. Looking like a wolf. There it is. Looking good. Looking interesting. We're going to pop him out. Let's see here. Let's see here. Pop that. Pop that. Pop that. Pop that there we go there we go and then we got the cane you got to get that trusty cane right i'm about ready to get a cane how about you you thinking about it yet uh not not, not yet lately no give it give it the old sky hook can you give it the sky hook see you later oh my gosh the old sky hook a master of the sky hook on the old playground was my dad back in the day it's a lethal shot does anybody use the sky hook anymore? I haven't seen, but you just don't no. see it anymore. You know, practice that a long good time. friend of the channel, Jeff George, big sky hook guy, oh. big sky hook oh, guy. Wow. He's been known to be lethal from the playground, from the three point line with the sky hook. Can you wow. believe that? Eh, crazy, crazy times. He loves a good sky it hook. Gives though. you another dimension. Shout out to old Jeff George out there. All right, now we're gonna get down to this trap you here. Have a wolf trap. There. It's a wolf trap. Okay, and it, it did come apart in the package, but it just 
snaps right snaps together. right back in so it is an actual trap right. here you can actually set this trap if you need to it's got a little plastic chain going on silver color with i guess rust is kind of what that's supposed to be painted on there looks like a tetanus shot waiting to happen is it, what that it looks may like maybe some dried blood that could be because blood. wolfman was caught in a trap that's true i don't know is it blood or is it rust what, I, don't, I don't know. What are you thinking? We get that coin get, back I out. I think it's dried blood. All right. I was I was going rust. I was going tetanus shots, but nah. we'll, we'll go we'll go that. So we got that there. Now we do get two hands here. So he's got two gnarled, grip, mm -hmm. ripping hands there. Unfortunately, no fists on the Wolfman because usually the Wolfman, I think he always knocks them out with a hook right. and then takes them out and bites them and turns them into a werewolf. I think that's how it goes. Somebody fact check that. Usually he's choking people and grabbing yeah. people. He's not. I, I always thought he was giving him the one-two pound on the ground. The old playground, playground pounding, I think, is what he was doing. But we do get gripping hands here yeah. in case he wants to grip his cane, of course. Right. Got the nice nail detail there in mm -hmm. yellow. I'm here for that. And then speaking of canes right here, we get that silver cane here. Uh, we all know about silver bullets and werewolves, whatever right. happened with those. We all know about that one there. Get the silver at the bottom, silver at the top. Have you watched the werewolf movie Dog Soldiers yet? No. We talked about this many moons ago. You need to add that to your list this Halloween season mm. i'll find it for you i'll send you the link uh, i love that movie it's it's one of those movies i just saw on like sci-fi channel back in the day one day out of the blue didn't know about anything and i was riveted i was riveted by these dog soldiers i love a good werewolf and it was a different telling of a werewolf story a different mm. a different aspect i think it's definitely worth checking Did out. they all have canes I think that's where I was going. Uh -huh. They all walk with canes, uh -huh. much like this werewolf here. So, yeah. you know, they put on the Ritz and they do all kinds of stuff, a little song and dance with the cane, the wolf man, you know, some tap well, dancing. Larry Talbot bought that cane in a curiosity shop from, yep. from a lady that he admired and uh, then later uh, used that to kill the first werewolf in the picture, which was played by Bela Lugosi. Well, that's right. And uh, they found the cane later. And and, and uh, I do believe this was actually, to bring it back to Webster, Ben Vereen's cane from one of his Broadway plays. Uh -oh. Shout out to Ben Vereen, the next good friend of the channel. We might get Ben Vereen on here one of these days. Hopefully, shout out to Ben Vereen. Song and dance man, Ben Vereen. All right, now we get down to the heads on this one. What are we thinking here? So the stock head out of the package. Got a little bit of teeth showing there. The mouth's open just a little bit. Got that uh, hair all over the forehead. And got a nice comb to him here. You can yeah. almost set your watch to yeah. that. You could, Do you wear a watch anymore? No. No more watch wearing, no. huh? Man. Carry a phone. I, I feel bad for people that make watches. Like Timex, their stock must be in just the toilet, you would think, right? Yeah. I mean, what do you do? Nobody wears watches anymore. Everybody's got you a phone. You hate to be redundant. You do have a phone. You can look yeah, at it. That's so. the thing. And that's kind of the, the watch of our generation now and, yeah. and yours as well. But uh, Rolexes, I think if you still got a Rolex, you probably still uh, wear that, I would imagine. Uh -huh. You ever thought about getting a Rolex? Uh, not once. Never me yeah. either. Maybe maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days. Uh, but definitely interesting look here. Doesn't look like uh, Mr. Junior to me, though. Does it to you? Mm, Mr. Who's Mr. Junior? Lon Chaney. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, I don't think it looks like him. No, it's it's a different Wolfman look. Yeah, and it, yeah. it's more of a... This, this head's more ferocious. This one's a little yep. more... And to benign. me, this just looks like kind of your stereotypical Wolfman you'd see in advertising that's not Universal Monsters. And that gets the point across, and that goes all the way back where I like to put these with my Marvel Legends, and this is a good Wolfman to mix in with your Marvel Legends, things like that, because it doesn't feel overly Universal Monster. Even though it's branded yeah. it that way, it doesn't feel that way. So definitely, I think it's possible. I mean, you, when you think back, you can picture Dracula, Bela Lugosi's face, you can you can picture Frankenstein, Boris Karloff, you know that. But when you look back at the Wolfman and Lon Chain, I picture all this hair in this, but I can't say there's any real distinctive traits yeah. that that would say, "Hey, that's launching." I don't know. Yeah. So, but it is good. It's, it's passable. Good. I like it's the good. teeth sticking out there, and then you get a little bit matter look on this yeah. second head here. Same kind of hairstyle going on. Very similar, but also very different. Right. Sure. Why not? <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, but definitely very similar. The mouth being the biggest difference between these two. And then uh, he's got the uh, green shirt going on and the jeans. Uh, you think there'd be some tears or something on that? But he looks like he's just getting ready to go to work. It looks like he needs to throw a hat on and maybe grab a lunch pail, <laughs> and then he could just go to work. Uh, you know, at the factory or something like that. He hasn't met know. anybody. You like <laughs> yeah, he hasn't met anybody, uh, but definitely looking interesting. I mean, if you put took the hands off, you took the feet off, it would just be a basement in the head. Obviously, it'd no. be just a base body of just some this blue collar worker guy just know. working on the trains or something no. like that. Who no. knows? Uh, but articulation, arms gonna go all the way around on this one. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hands back, forward, side to side. Waist articulation, hula hoop, head back, forward, side to side, up and down. Head removable as we do know. 
big old Wolfman splits if you need them. Uh, just in case the gypsies are around. You never know when you might need to do a split. Thigh cut as well. Double jointed knees. Ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Beautiful coloring on the nails, on the toes, and on the hands. I like that bright yellow. Right. Really makes that pop against that brown color. Definitely a good look to him right here. No issues with this one. And then, does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. What do you know? He fits right on that stand right there. Looking good. Fitting good. I'm here for that all day long. Looking good. An interesting one. A little bit plain as far as Wolfman's go, but I think he kind of gets the point across right. for what he's trying to do. Probably display him caught up in that trap. Just a bad day at the office. I don't care if you're a Wolfman or anybody. You get caught in a trap. It's not a good day. Well, it can happen to anybody. Day. It really can. Yeah. It really mm -hmm. can. He's not going to stand yeah, on yeah. that. But we did get the NECA version here, which is very similar, mm -hmm. but very different at the same time. So it's almost like uh, father and son. This is almost like you and me is what this kind of looks like, <laughs> standing next to each other. Looks like uh, the Tom and Kyle Wolfman edition right there. So I don't know. Now I'm that, getting... That one would have more of a Lon Chaney look in the nose and then the, the way the hair is sculpted around the face and head. But it the... the uh, Head, head looks a little big. Yeah, a little big on this yeah. one. That's what Compared I agree. to this. I think this uh, really gives me some ideas for Halloween this year. I think we should go trick-or-treating with the kids as a father and son wolf man. We could do this. We could pull off this look. I think it would be something extra special. Probably so we'll, get arrested. We'll they, both, they both have green shirts. Green shirts. Yeah. And this one's got the blue jeans. This one's got the brown. I right. wonder which one's more accurate. I'm guessing the brown. Black and white movie. Yeah, it's true. You never know. Mm -hmm. Use your imagination. Mm -hmm. There it is. Choose your own imagination adventure is what that is. But yep. definitely yin and yang, just like uh, this one over here. Very similar, but very different at the same time. Uh, depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for the NECA, I can see a lot of Universal Monster purists wanting the NECA ones here. But these are a little fun, a little cheaper. And like I said, perfect to put with your Marvel Legends. You can have Wolverine uh, squaring off against some of those guys. You can have Blade chasing Dracula around. You can do a lot of things like that in your collection as well. It truly is choose your own adventure in your collection, how you display them and where you put them. And that's the fun with a lot of action figures, as we do know. But definitely cool, Invisible Man and the Wolf Man. Anybody got any thoughts on these? Let me know in the comments down below. Dad, any final thoughts from you on these two? No, I like I liked it all. I good. think I prefer the Invisible Man between yeah. the two. I really wish I NECA. Like I wish NECA would make this version of uh, the Invisible Man. So there's still time. I'm hoping they can get that. Yeah, I like done. the smoking jacket. That that really told you that's the Invisible Man. Yeah, it, it really does yeah. look good. So that that is the true winner right there for me, at least as far as uh, these ones here from Jada Toys. But you guys, like I said, put your comments in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day, and then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon. Best way to support the channel, as you guys know, you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the Universal Monsters, and my dad, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.